Welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor, where we're going to have word problems that deal with speed and distance and time. These uh, kinds of kinds of problems are the ones that I know you've all seen before, where you know you'll have uh, train A leaves the station at this time, and train B leaves the station at this time, and they're going at a certain speed. And how long does it take them to reach, or how long does it take them to overtake one another, or whatever. There's lots of different different variations on this kind of problem, but they all involve distance somehow and speed and time. Okay. Um, now, one thing I want to point out before we really get into the actual word problems is that distance, speed, and time, they're all interrelated. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When you're going uh, down the road and you're obeying the speed limit, okay, how fast are you going? Okay. We say that you're going 55 miles an hour or 60 miles an hour. Now, think about that for a second. 60 miles per hour, okay? That means every hour that clocks along, I've gone 60 more miles. Another hour goes along, 60 more miles. Another hour goes along, 60 more miles. So that tells you right there that distance, speed, and time are all interrelated, okay? The speed is 60 miles an hour, the unit miles per hour, okay? And what that means is 60 miles, which is the distance, and one hour, which is the time. So distance, speed, and time, they're all interrelated, and uh, they're interrelated by, by this following uh, uh, equation. Speed uh, is equal to the distance traveled divided by the time, okay? And this is, you don't even really have to remember this. Just think about your car. When you're going 60 miles an hour, you're going 60, this would be miles, and this would be hours. And the division means per. So when you say uh, 30 miles per hour, or when you're, even when you're going down and you're, 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 you want to buy a car and it tells you this car gets 28 miles per gallon, that means divided by miles per gallon. Uh, miles, that many miles per gallon of gasoline that you burn. In this case, it's uh, distance over time, miles per hour. It could also be meters per second. It could be miles per second. It can be uh, football field per day. It could be whatever, as long as it's distance and time on the bottom. That's a unit of speed, okay? Uh, now, one thing I want to tell you is this is the equation for, for speed, the relation of speed, okay? Now, a lot, of thing, a lot of times in these problems, you'll be dealing with, uh, you'll have to deal with the speed, but you'll also want to, to, to deal with the distance, and uh, I'm not going to tell you why now because it'll just confuse you. We'll just work some problems. But if you needed to deal with distance, you could just solve this equation. You can, this is an equation like anything else. If you want to solve for distance, you can do that. If you want to solve for time, you can do that. So if you wanted to solve for distance, how would you do that? Well, if I wanted to solve for distance, I'd have to get rid of this time just like if it were any old, any old equation. So I'd multiply both sides of this equation by time. It would cancel on this side, time, uh, time on the bottom and time on the top. Time divided by time gives you one. And, but over here I'd have speed uh, times time. Okay, so distance is speed times time. I mean, this isn't uh, rocket science here, okay? If you know that you're going 60 miles an hour, okay? And you know that you're traveling for three hours, then you know that you must multiply those numbers together. 60 miles per hour, traveling for three hours, I must multiply those together. Six times three, 180 miles traveled, okay? Uh, so, but in equation form, it's distance is equal to speed times time, okay? Um, and I'll give you one aside that's very helpful uh, as you solve these problems and, and other problems. The units of speed is, um, is uh, let's just say, miles per hour. Okay, and if you multiply by the time, which is in hours, okay, you see what's happening here. If you look at the units, if you've got